Hey, how are you today? My name is Donna St. Louis and I want to talk a little bit about how you turn quite honestly one engagement, one speech, one coaching opportunity, one consulting opportunity into a lot more engagements. Because so many times it's it's really tough just to kind of get going when we get into, especially if you're in the speaking industry, coaching industry, consulting industry. When you get started, sometimes it's tough to get going. It's really tough to get that, um, that you know, just to get the momentum to where you wanted to get to. And what you'll find is as you're trying to get this momentum going, it's like, well, how do you keep it going, right? How do you not put the brakes on that momentum? Well, last week I was just speaking at the National Association of Broadcasters. There were a couple of thousand people in the room and it was literally how do you turn that one opportunity into right now I have eight requests to speak in my inbox. It's only Monday. I spoke on Thursday, right? So how do you create that kind of momentum? And there is an actual formula that I follow. If you watched anything that I did last week, I talked a lot. I did a lot of behind the scenes stuff. I'm not going to repeat that, but I'm going to give you some little tidbits that maybe I didn't share during the behind the scenes that'll help you out. And this helps you whether you're a coach, whether you're a consultant, whether you're a speaker, however you're selling, sharing your intellectual property, this is something that you need to hear. How do you multiply a single client into many clients? And there is something that I do very, very, very specifically. It definitely works and it works continuously. All right, so let's start off with the beginning. Who in the hell am I? Well, my name is Donna St. Louis. I'm CEO of HighProfitZone.com. I am one of the few people out there who is an international keynote speaker who is also a coach as well as a consultant, right? So I'm one of the people who's still out there doing it as well as teaching other people how to do it. Um, many times we find people that are in this industry that are coaches, they're not necessarily still speaking, right? So I'm telling you what I share specifically, what works for me, what doesn't work for me, what I do at events, and how I multiply engagements, and how I do even my cold call outreach so that you can be successful. All right, so specifically, I'm gonna share with you three to four tips as well as something that I got from the event planner that really made my job that much easier and when you're working with your clients when you can get this one thing and you have to work your ass off to get it but when you get this one thing it truly can be a game changer in your business it can really change and increase that momentum for you and it is your job to work your ass off to get it all right so let's get it started so here is the one thing and i have them all written on my board right here so i'm gonna just go through them the first one is, and this is going to be like a no brainer, but I'm going to give you some specifics. So the strategy is that you want to deliver more value. Now I'm actually going to go ahead and be very bold and compare myself to some of the other speakers. Um, there were some speakers that were there that literally, I was the opening keynote speaker. I was the first African American female they've ever had on their stage. They've never even had truly a motivational speaker. So not only was I breaking all kind of ceilings, I was doing something they never had on their stage before. So there was a lot of pressure not to screw this up, right? But beyond that, let me tell you what I saw. There were speakers that literally came in, you know, hours before it was time for them to go on and they were out moments after they were done speaking. Now, this is a trend that I have seen a lot lately. And we love, love to do this whole bullshit about my calendar. Honey, even when I've done 50 engagements a year, quite honestly, that probably took 150 days off of my calendar, which meant out of 365, I still had a whole lot of days left on my calendar. So when I was doing about 50 events a year, which is a hot, I don't want to do more than that, quite honestly. I don't want to be traveling once a week. But even when I was doing that, saying to an event planner that, well, I can't be there anytime extra is bullshit. 
And it is. And I'm sorry. And don't get me wrong. I understand that sometimes we do have things scheduled back to back. I do get that. I'm not questioning whether that happens or not. But it doesn't happen all the time. And I can't tell you how many times I've been at events where I've heard the keynote speaker or the, the speaker say, well, they hired me from 9 to 9.45 on Thursday. And therefore, that's all I'm going to be there. If they wanted me there longer, they should have paid me four more days. Okay. Let me tell you why that is such a bad attitude to have. You are missing out on some major things. Because I stayed, I went to client meetings. Um, people that were there that were like, oh my God, you're, I would love to have dinner with the keynote speaker. And then what they do after I sat there, they pick my brain some more, which was absolutely fine. And then they turned around and they sent me um, opportunities to speak. And guess what? I didn't pay for dinner. They did. So here it is. I'm out having a $150 steak dinner on a client who then turns around and hire me. Why? Because I stayed around. I stayed around and I shook hands with the, the um, attendees. I a answered their questions. I talked to them. I hugged them. I took selfies with them. I did all of those things. So adding more value means that you have to be there to do so. It's not just what you do on stage for 45 minutes or an hour or 90 minutes. It's what you do before and after. And for God's sakes, make sure that you're communicating with the person who has hired you from the time you get your ass out of your house, send them a text message. Hey, heading to the airport. Hey, my plane is not delayed. I'm hopping on it right now. Hey, my connection is cool. I'm on my way. Like I let them know I'm on my way. I got to tell her, she was just like, I felt like there was no worries. I knew you were going to be here. It was absolutely amazing. So making sure that you're not just there for your little sliver of time, but there for your client is so important to answer questions, um, talk to your attendees. And then there's this other thing. And I'm going to tell you why being there meant so much, especially at this event. Also, the other thing that I did, and I talked a little bit about this in my um, behind the scenes, is I actually went and took pictures with every one of the vendors that had a booth, all of them. And not only did I tag them, I tagged them as well as the event. And so now the event is just like, oh my God, that's awesome. What is the vendor thinking? Oh my God, that's awesome. So now these people are going, the person that was on the stage that rocked it, just took a picture with me. Like they made a big deal out of me doing this. They didn't ask me to do it. I just did it. That's what I'm talking about in regards to adding more value. If they have to ask you to do it, are you really adding more value? So for me, going and doing that for them was a big deal. Going and taking selfies with every one of the vendors and then putting them on LinkedIn and tagging them was huge. Now, of course, they have those pictures that they can also leverage. All right, here's number two. Adding more value is my big number one. Add value in ways that you never thought that you could add value. Here's number two. Now, because I hung around, because I said, no, I'm here for as long as your conference is going on. And even when people ask me why, I said, well, here's two reasons. Number one, this is the television industry. If I can listen to what you guys are talking about, I get to learn what some of your challenges are, if you want me to come and speak to your organization, it's not a new learning curve for me because I've already learned so much. So now I'm bringing, I'm taking a time to educate myself. So this is also a little personal and professional development for myself. But at the very, very, very end of the conference, the woman who was running the conference said the following. She goes, I hate to bother you, but I may need you to close. Now, this isn't in our contract, and by the way, this isn't the time to start negotiating. She's right now sitting in a pinch and going, I'm gonna need a speaker in an hour. Well, guess who's there, right? So you wanna make sure that, when she asked me that, she goes, would that be too much to ask? And I was like, absolutely not. How much time do you need? And she goes, really? And I'm like, yeah, you 45 minutes, 30 minutes, 20 minutes, what do you need? Let me know. She was absolutely floored that I could do that for her at a moment's notice. So if she needed me, I was there, right? And for her, that was huge. That that whether she needed me or not, you know, for sure, in the moment she knew that if she needed a backup plan, she had one. Again, what is my job to do? Reduce the stress level of the event planner, not make it higher. 
And just being there while I'm getting my education, I'm learning so much about the television industry. I'm also there and available to the event planner if she needs anything. Oh, somebody didn't make it for their breakout session. I got you. Oh, I got you. That my favorite word, my phrase that they need to live by is I got you. Oh, you're passing out handouts. You want me to help you? I got you. Hey, let me tell you something. I have never been too lofty where I can't help. They need to know that I am a resource there, not for them to have to babysit, but someone who's there to help. And I was, and every activity that their people did, I was right there with that activity. They're like, hey, we're doing this. Are you going? Hey, we're doing that. Are you going? They always wanted me to be a part of their activities. Again, add more value, be ready in the flash. Here's number three, follow up. Follow up like there's nobody's nobody's business. Monday morning rolled around and I was ready to send my email already, which meant I worked on it over the weekend. But here's a better follow up. While you're at the hotel, people are gonna give you, or at the event, people are gonna give you business cards. And what do we always do? I'll take all these business cards when I get home and I'll follow up when I get home. No, absolutely not. Before you shut your eyes and your head hits that pillow that night, send out your email respond to those people. There is nothing worse than when you get home only to realize that you lost one of the cards. And that actually happened to me while I was there. There was one gentleman that I remember specifically gave me a business card. I could not find it anywhere. The best thing in the world was the next day when I saw him, I said, you know what? You gave me a business card. I can't find it anywhere. I really would like to follow up you. Can you give me another one? And he's like, oh, absolutely. What did I do? I followed up immediately. If you have an, the moment that you have an opportunity to follow up, follow up. Don't wait until you get home. Do it right then. Now, what did these three things lead to? These three things led to the, not only did the people there think I was highly responsive because I was there for them. Not only did the event planner go, holy crap, we want you back for next year and we want you in a bigger way. I also had the woman who's like the mother of a national association of the national association just send out a bunch of emails saying you need to hire this woman now. You need to get on our calendar. She's not going to be available next year because she's amazing. And my inbox is just overflowing. And so it's that type of thing. But why did that happen? Because when I saw her, I walked up to her and I'm like, it is a pleasure to meet you. Oh my gosh. I gave her a big hug. She goes, I can't believe you're still here. You won't believe how many speakers are just in and out. It's so cool that you're here and hanging out with us. She made a huge deal out of it. Of course, people go, well, Donna, do you negotiate that into your fee? No. And I also didn't go and say, and if you want me on stage for the, for a closing, you're going to need to pay me. I didn't do any of that. You know what? All I said was, how can I help you? How can I be of service? They were already paying me a shit ton of money to be on stage for an hour. I can give them an hour. It ain't that serious. And by doing that, by people seeing me the opening, hanging out with me in the middle and seeing me at the closing, my my inbox is overflowing. Now, here's the thing. When I got on stage, though, I was also following a very specific formula for a keynote. The formula just works. Now I teach this formula in highprofitzone.com. So if you're interested in getting these types of results, just hit me up, just uh, send me a private message or just type here in the comments, say, I want info or whatever, and I'll reach out to you. But there is one other thing that I got from the vendor that was absolutely amazing. The vendor gave me something that quite honestly is remarkable. She gave me a significant amount of trust. In fact, the night before I went on, we all had dinner and I was having dinner with the committee that, that made the decision to bring me in. And we were talking about my speech and I went and asked the question. I said, hey, anything I need to be aware of, anything that you're worried about, even if you think it's gonna hurt my feelings, like, are you worried that I'm gonna curse or do a lap dance or, you know, any, is there anything that you're really, really concerned about? Don't worry that it's going to insult me. I would prefer to squash those fears and get them out of the way so you can feel relaxed while you're watching me on stage. And she said, 
I have watched your live streams, I've watched your videos, I've followed you online. And she goes, and you know what? I 100% trust you. You are a professional and I trust you as a professional to do what it is that you do. The result of that, by the way, is I am not kidding you. I went on stage feeling absolutely amazing and I came off stage knowing that I crushed it, right? And so it's one of those perfect storm kind of things. Um, and when I say that, I mean, in other words, Hurricane Donna was in the house in Austin. The, the venue was amazing. The audience was amazing. The look was amazing. The photos were amazing. The video was amazing. The message was amazing. Like everything just worked. The walk on music was amazing. The walk off music was amazing. Even the activity I did in the middle, like it was all amazing. And so, but because she gave me her trust, I never had a moment of hesitation of second guessing what I'm going to say, or should I say that, or should I not, or whatever, right? And the one thing people always tell me is that the amount of authenticity they feel when I come off, when I'm on the stage, as compared to even when I'm off the stage, you're like, it's the same person. And so it's all of those things. So this is what you really want to do. You want to deliver more value than they're asking for. You want to also make sure that you're ready in a flash for if they suddenly need you. And I don't mean, oh, yeah, I can do it, but I got to update my slides and I got to go and do this. No, no, no. You need to be ready to go right then. You don't have time to go and get your slides. And you got to be ready to go. Do you have something ready? That is so important. I had something ready. The moment she said it, I was like, yeah, I'm ready. She goes, how long is it going to take you? I'm like, no, I'm ready right now. Like, they can introduce me. I'll go right on. And she's like, really? I'm like, right when you're let, yeah i'm ready let's go and she was just blown away you have to have that in your back pocket follow up while you're there and seriously you i use a formula to create an epic keynote speech you can get it through highprofitzone.com so if you're interested just hit me up say donna i'm ready to take my business to the next level you can pm me dm me you can just uh go to www.meetwithdonna.com and finally, the vendor gave me something that sometimes it's hard for event planners to give you, and that was trust. She gave me an amazing amount of trust to make it happen. So I would really like you to think about this for your own business. What are you doing to deliver a higher amount of value? What are you doing to be ready at a moment's notice? And how are you following up so that your client knows that you are there 100% that you are there for them? Because that's what they're looking for, more value, you're ready in a flash and follow up like there's nobody's business. Those are the three things you got to do. It will definitely increase trust. Anyway, that's all I got for you guys. I hope you have a fantastic day. If you're interested in getting into the High Profit Zone program, we only have two more weeks and we only have two more spots. So if you're interested in getting in, you literally have two weeks to do so and you have to let me know as soon as possible. I'll talk to you later.